that one. All right, so, and then truth, same thing, half the truth. Well, I'll tell you half of, half of how I feel and give you kind of half of it, but I'm not going to give it all to you. And he said, well, that's, and sometimes that's the best we can do, right? Of, of the four options so far, halfway is the best way of the four, right? It's better than no way, better than my way, better than your way, better than for us to kind of meet halfway. But here's the thing. Um, who's, sometimes we may, both of us end up being unhappy. Say, my wife Amy just wanted to go to vacation at the beach, and I really wanted to go to the mountains. So we decided to meet halfway, we went to Burlington. <laughs> yeah, that's what, right? She was happy though because the tanger outlet's kind of close. Uh, that's not my idea of vacation. So sometimes, you know, meeting halfway is not all that's cracked up to be. Like, do you really want half the paycheck, half your sandwich, you know, half the respect from your colleagues? I mean, at some point, halfway is just not really enough. We're, we're, we're searching for something better than that. And which leads us to the fifth way, which I, as I mentioned was earlier is the best way. And the fifth way, the fifth way is the Jesus way. It's the Jesus way. And the Jesus way is this. The Jesus way is all truth and all love. All truth and all love. It's like we got both here. We can love, you, love each other all the way and be truthful all the way. And, we, and it, can, it can work. It can happen. So we heard in this Ephesians passage this, this morning that God is calling us to speak the truth in love. Truth in love. Did, did Paul say, speak the truth or love, whatever suits you? Today, maybe speak truth. Tomorrow, speak love. You know what? You're first now. You're more loving, so you speak love. You're a little more tough, so why don't you just speak truth? Does it say that? It says speak the truth in love. It's another way of saying you, we need both. We're supposed to speak truth and love. And then this, the word of God then goes on and Paul says that the ability to speak the truth in love goes hand in hand with our growing in every way to be more like Jesus Christ. Growing to be more like Jesus Christ. That's what discipleship's all about. Growing to be more like Jesus Christ. And I can't grow to be more like Jesus Christ unless I'm speaking truth and love. It can't be truth or love or love or truth. It's got to be I'm speaking truth in love. Both. So I was thinking about like hugs. So for a good hug, right, you need both arms, right? I'm not a big hugger, but I, you, know, you need both arms. And you can do like the side hug with one arm, right? Or maybe like a bro hug. Boss, come up here for a second. <laughs> this is the bro hug. This is what my brother's, oh, seriously, this is what we do, man. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry if I hurt your back. I'm slightly hard. We can do like a half hug. But you can't do the you can't get the real genuine article unless you're using both arms. And and here's where I'm going with this. And so for, in relationship to terms of conflict, we got two arms here. One is the arm of truth. And one's the arm of love. And if we're really going to embrace each other, it's going to take both. It takes both to hold on to each other. Especially when we've got disagreements. We need both. We've got to hold on to each other, being fully truthful and, and fully loving. And it's not, e it's not easy, right? So we, are, we know that from this experience, but the word of the, 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 the epistle reading, the Ephesians passage, it's, and it, Paul says, make every effort to maintain the unity of peace. Make every effort. It's like underline effort. Now circle effort. Now highlight effort. Now put a star in effort, right? That it, to, to work through conflict in a way that's both loving and truthful will take effort. And it's going to require that we persevere. But if we can do it, and we can do it by the grace of God, right, it's going to be a beautiful, it's going to be a beautiful thing. We'll see beautiful uh, results happening. Uh, we'll see We'll see um, transformation and change and growth and breakthroughs and joy. It'll, it'll happen. For example, you remember you remember Mary, um, who is a young woman who has a friend who is about to do uh, drugs, and Mary's went over to her house to speak to her, and she shows up at her friend's house. She says, "I know, I know what I know what you're planning. I've heard about this. It's it's wrong." You cannot, you cannot do this. 
And then she went out and said, because I love you, I, I so adore you, and I would die if anything ever happened to you. Please don't do that. If there's something happening, going on wrong, let's talk about it. I'm here to talk. You know what they did? They did talk, and they did embrace, and those pills were flushed down the toilet. Truth and love, right? Truth and love. And Bob and his dad were arguing over politics after six months of silence. Bob showed up at his dad's office, closed the door, said, Dad, I need to talk to you. Dad, I love you. I love you so much. And I care about our relationship. And I want us to be, I want to be close with you. And being close to you is more important to me than, than politics will ever be. And Dad, I'm sorry that I walked out on you. That wasn't wasn't the best way to handle this. But Dad, I'm, I'm committed to, I want to understand you, your opinion, uh, where you stand on things, but Dad, I need you to understand me too. I need you to hear me and respect me and value my opinion also. And then the father embraced his son, whispered in his ear, son, I'm sorry too. I love you. Right? Truth and love. Truth and love. You remember the woman who left the church over the issue of homosexuality, Mrs. Smith? Well, after she got to her new church, she found out she had conflicts with them too. Lo and behold, right? So she came after some reflection and soul searching. She came back and she dropped in and talked to the, the pastor. And the pastor, you know, this issue really, it really troubles me. And I really think the position of our church right now is, is, is wrong. It's in, you know, and, and the idea that it's going to change in a way that, that I don't like really, really bothers me. And I want to be able to kind of share where I'm coming from here. But I want you to know, Pastor, that I love this church. And I love the people here. And it was wrong of me to walk away. That wasn't right. And I want to be a part of this church and I want to be part of the conversation as we struggle with this and figure out how we move forward. I want to be part of that. I want to be able to share kind of where I'm coming from. But you know what, Pastor? I also want to hear from other people and try to understand where others are coming from who disagree with me. Truth and love, right? Truth and love. And it won't be easy, but we can do it. Here's, this is how Jesus loves you, my friends. Truth and love. Right? He's there. He's here today. And he's speaking truth to, to you and to me. He's speaking all kinds of truth through, through, our, through our spirit and, and through the words and the message and songs. Speaking truth. And he's telling us about how we should love each other, how to work through disagreements. And he's telling us where we goofed it up, you know. Probably leading you right now, said this. You need to go and have this conversation. Uh, this is important. There's all kinds of truth that's be, that Jesus speaks to us. We have the Word of God. We have commandments. We have law. We have a lot of we have a lot of truth. We have the Holy Spirit continuing to teach us the truth, and there's tons of truth. But guess what? There's also just as much love. Just as much love. For you. Jesus loves you. Loves you. Loves you. Loves you. Even when you disagree with him. Even when we when our when our love fails him. Even when we walk away, Jesus continues to love us. He gives himself for us. What's the cross about? It's, it's about love, right? That he gave himself for us. That he he sacrificed his own life, endured the agony of pain and death out of love because he wanted to stay connected with you. He wants a relationship with you. He wants to be your friend. He wants to be your Lord. He wants to be your Redeemer. He, he, Jesus wants you because he loves you. He loves you so much. And when we call on his name, when we reach out to him and say, I need your help here, Jesus, I know I've messed this up and I can't do this Without you, whenever we reach out for him, we ask for his help, we confess our need, he's there for us. He gives us his Holy Spirit to energize us and transform us and 
take a, wash away the old and the ugly and give us something new and beautiful and puts to death those old habits and, and raises up new ways of being in relationship. Jesus loves us. And he's for us. And with his help, we can even learn to speak truth in love. And the people of God say, Amen. 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 Right. Well, let me offer a prayer and then we'll, con we'll continue on continue our worship. Right. God, thank you for today. Thank you for this time to be here. I want to lift up every person in this room and even and especially those today who are, who are, who are really having a, a special hard time with conflict. Well, we lift up every one of those situations, even the people who aren't here that we're, that we're at odds with, God, we lift them up as well. We pray, God, that you would uh, be faithful to your word and that we would live in faith and live in expectation that we can learn to speak truth and love. Heal us. Heal our relationship. God, heal this community. Heal the world that we live in. Let us, give us grace that we can speak truth and love. Amen. Now we have an opportunity to receive new members. It's very exciting. It's always fun. And I want to ask uh, Anderson if y'all would come forward that we can uh, recognize you guys. Chris, Katara, Anderson, and this beautiful Rachel, who um, are becoming official members today. And Anderson's were members of uh, faithful members of another.